I got some emails about my comment on hamburgers and how dangerous they were compared to low levels of radioactivity. And uh, so someone who eats a lot of hamburgers emailed me and said, hey, should I really worry? And my answer was no, but you should have the following perspective. And this is work that was done largely by Bruce Ames. Bruce Ames, professor of biochemistry here. Every year I put him on the list of people I think should get a Nobel Prize, he may, for something called the Ames test which is the primary test used to see whether certain things cause mutations. It's called mutagenic if it causes a mutation. That doesn't mean it's cancerous, but it means it's a likely cause of cancer if it causes mutations. So you look at radiation and see if it causes cancer. Ames came up with this incredibly ingenious way of doing it. He created <clears throat> these bacteria that could not survive because they didn't create a certain enzyme. You had to feed them the enzyme. Then what he'd do is put them in petri dishes and not feed them the enzyme, so they'd all die. And his idea was put a little chemical on each one, different chemical on each one. You would find one of these petri dishes, <clears throat> the, 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 the bacteria would grow. It must have mutated. So instead of looking for mutations, you just look for the most obvious mutation, namely living. It's an ingenious idea, so does it turn things backwards? Unless they mutated, they wouldn't survive. But by this, you could have a thousand petri dishes, maybe only three would have growth in it. Those were the ones that had mutated. So this way you could measure chemicals. So people started looking at, at everything this way, particularly food additives. And they discovered to their horror that about one half of all food additives were mutagenic and therefore possible carcinogens. And this became a great scandal about all these additives that people were putting in that were mutagenic. It was horrible. And so Bruce Ames became a hero among the people who wanted to outlaw all of these additives. And people started going to natural foods. Now, I switched to natural foods when I discovered they were tastier than the stuff I got in the supermarket. Some people switched because they think they're healthier. Now, Ames, being a really good scientist, was disturbed by this. He said they're not testing natural foods. So he started testing natural foods to see how, what, what, what they were. He found they were far worse. That doesn't mean so bad you shouldn't eat them. I keep on eating them, and I have Bruce Ames over for dinner, and you know, he, he, he points out that mushrooms are 50% carcinogens. Can you believe that? 50% of the mushrooms are carcinogens. That's huge. So I fed him mushrooms for dinner, and I watched him, mm, he's a good mushroom, mm, nom, 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 nom. And then when I served him Pete's coffee, he said, no thanks. I said, well, why do you drink Pete's coffee? Why do you eat mushrooms, 50% carcinogens, but not Pete's coffee? He said, well, the mushrooms are extremely weak carcinogens. It's not an either or. It's how many mutations do they cause? Now, yes, the chemicals, half of the chemicals in mushrooms are carcinogenic, but it's so mild as to be negligible. It's like, you know, the radioactivity of my wristwatch or something. But, but the burn, when you burn something, you undergo chemicals, you make very powerful carcinogens, and so he stays away from coffee. I don't. I drink exclusively Pete's coffee, except when there's none around, and I drink Starbucks, and if there's none around, I'll drink something else. But, uh, you know, the, the, to me, the pleasure of the coffee outweighs the tiny risk of cancer. But the most interesting thing he found was that the foods that were natural, that did not use pesticides were the worst culprits in terms of mutagens. Why is that, if you think about it? And then, he, you know, he figured it out. It, it, it's, it's obvious. You have a whole bunch of plants here, and you don't spray them with these pesticides. Pesticides, by the way, are tested to be very mild mutagens. So mild that he eats them along with mushrooms. He doesn't care. It, any, all the pesticides that are being used on plants are something that he says are negligible danger. But the people who don't want to use those, what do they do? They grow crops and they find that insects attack this, 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 and this. They don't attack that one there. Ah, that's the good one. And they take that one and they grow it. And the insects attack not many of them, but these it really doesn't attack. So you take those and grow that, and pretty soon you have natural plants. And Bruce Ames, as a scientist, says, well, that's interesting. Why is this surviving all the insects? So he takes the plant, chops it up, does its test, and sure enough, it is highly mutagenic. It is full of poisons. The insects that attack that one die. 
So this is the natural plant that is naturally resistant to bugs. And this is the one that some people choose to eat. Instead of the one that has the very harmless thing, the things that have been tested to kill bugs but not humans, sprayed on them. My advice to you is, if you eat natural foods, do it because you like the flavor. Don't do it because you think you're avoiding the carcinogens. If anything, it's just the opposite. 